just want to show you a particularly unpleasant pest of pears called a pear midge. I've just cut this um, pear open and you can see inside it there's a whole load of uh, maggots. Uh, I don't know if you can see them wriggling. Uh, this is a pear which is um, completely filled with these um, you know, pretty disgusting uh, maggots. Uh, I think you can see a few of them just wriggling there. Um, this pears are gone, though. there's nothing you can do about it. On the outside it just looks a bit manky. Uh, we've had a big problem with um, with uh, pear midge. Uh, there's not a lot you can do about it apart from spray with uh, insecticide before the um, uh, you know the pears set. That's another one that looks as though it's probably affected as well. Uh, so I'm doing this uh, without my assistant. Yeah. Pear midge. The pear, the little pear fruit layer is full of these uh, disgusting um, maggots. This is uh, the 6th of May. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the, this is one of my spalliers I was showing you the other day. Pear and midge is one of what I call the hundred percenters. Um, it's one of the verminous pests which by itself, without any assistance from scab or winter moth caterpillar or codling moth or any other pest at all, can give you a hundred percent destruction of the entire crop. Um, I'll put a bit on the text about um, different controls for it, but uh, uh, the only really effective control is to hit the, um, the tree hard with uh, insecticide at the right time. Otherwise, you know, you get this. There's another one. Just pick that open. Again, that's the same. See maggots inside it. So it's a pity, um, the downside of fruit growing, there are um, various pests, insects and diseases uh, which don't care whether you live or die and uh, frankly they will destroy uh, your crop unless you do something to destroy them. A sombre matter, uh, but we are probably not going to get very many pears on this tree, we were too busy various excuses, whatever. We didn't get the right amount of um, pesticide on the tree at the right time and as a result we're probably not going to get any crop.